Hello everyone, welcome to this new review for my channel, The Mental Traveler. I'm Caro Herrera, and today I'm going to be talking about the first season of a TV series called The White Princess, which serves as a sequel to The White Queen that came out some years ago. I've already reviewed The White Queen, and because I loved it, I was really excited that they were going to make The White Princess, which is based on a novel by Philippa Gregory. And while I have not read any of her books, because I'm not particularly fond of her style of writing, I do love all of the adaptations of her works that I've seen. Anyways, The White Princess consists of eight episodes and it starts Jodie Corner, Michelle Furley, Suki Waterhouse, Caroline Goodall, Easy Davis and more. And before I begin let me just say that this will be a review with spoilers so take caution. I wasn't really familiar with the War of the Roses some six months ago. It discovered the White Queen and as an Anglophile and a history lover it took me no time to fall in love with that time period and it took me even less to become a Ricardian which means that I am a supporter of Richard III and even though at the end of the White Queen we see him dying and I hate all the Tudor propaganda that came instantly afterwards it tried to predict Richard as this evil tyrant. I wanted to see the White Princess because I was interested in how the aftermath of his his death was handled and what came afterwards. The White Queen dealt with the War of the Roses through the eyes of three women and one of them was Elizabeth Woodville who married into the House of York. She is the mother of the famous princess who disappeared in the Tower of London and she also had many daughters. Her eldest child was Elizabeth of York and Lizzie is the White Princess. So the series begins with the aftermath of Richard III's death and Henry Tudor claiming the throne for himself. And since in this version of events Lizzie and Richard are shown to have had a love affair even though they were uncle and niece, we see her coping with the fact that her lover has been killed a man who she's now supposed to get married to and then we see how their marriage goes through all of these different stages from hate and mistrust to a mutual agreement of peace and finally to love despite everyone and everything trying to tear them apart but there are other issues that are dealt with in this show for example what happened to the characters we made in the white queen who survived and we also get a take on what could have happened to the princesses in the tower I give The White Princess a 5 out of 5 stars review because even though it's not historically accurate, I really enjoyed it. The cast did a great job and the storylines were really entertaining. So if I had to choose, I prefer The White Queen to The White Princess. Still, this one was a worthy successor. I enjoyed how it made me feel empathy with a lot of characters, even though they were on opposing side of the conflict. And it was great seeing some actors reprising their roles from The White Queen in The White Princess. And I am glad because I feel it's a story that's not as well known as what came before it and after it. It's nice to see productions that don't always deal with the same people. For the White Princess, it was the War of the Roses. And after there comes her son, Henry VIII, and we've already seen dozens of versions of what happened with him. And finally, despite me being a fan of Richard III, and regardless of the fact whether his niece was really infatuated with him or not, I couldn't help but feel a little bit drawn to the marriage between Henry Tudor and Elizabeth of York. Henry was really nice and likable here. Now, even though from some things I've read, he wasn't really like that in real life, in a lot of respects I could still appreciate what we were being presented with. Season 2 of The White Princess has not yet been announced but I hope that they do make it because there is still material they could use for it. It could even end with Henry VIII becoming king but for the moment this is all I have to say about The White Princess. Thank you very much for watching my review of it. Let me know if you liked it or not because I would love to discuss it with you. In the description box below you can find links to my review of The White Queen as well as a link to the IMDb page for The White Princess. I'm Carrera, the mental traveler and may you have a wonderful day.